Hey guys, it's Danae Johnson from Hello Well, and on this week's edition, I'm gonna show you guys how to make nut cheese. Now, a number of you have had some pretty adverse reactions to the term nut cheese, so for the sake of y'all, we're gonna just call it vegan cheese. So for today's vegan cheese recipe, you are going to need two cups of cashews. I have soaked these overnight. You are also going to need two lemons. We will be using some sun-dried tomatoes today. You are going to need some garlic. Now what gives vegan cheese the cheesy flavor is nutritional yeast. So we are definitely going to need some nutritional yeast today. And then for our spices, you guys, we are going to use a combination of sea salt, we are going to use some garlic powder, and we are going to use some paprika. Okay, so this is a really easy recipe. Our first step, we're going to take our two cups of cashews that we've soaked overnight. You're gonna to wanna to get a strainer and uh, drain and rinse your cashews. Okay, so after you have rinsed and strained your cashews, you're gonna add them to your Vitamix. Now I gotta say, it is pretty important for nut cheeses, or vegan cheeses, sorry, um, that you have a high-powered, high-speed blender. Otherwise I find the consistency of the vegan cheese just isn't quite as smooth, soft, succulent, delicious. Okay, so we've added our cashews. Now we are going to add some nutritional yeast. So you're going to add about a quarter of a cup of nutritional yeast. And once again, this is kind of what gives it its cheesy flavor. All right, up next, we're gonna add some garlic. So you are going to want to add two cloves of garlic. Okay, so after you've added your garlic, we are going to add some sun-dried tomatoes. So I've got about four sun-dried tomatoes that I'm gonna to add to my Vitamix. All right, up next we are going to add some lemon and that's gonna give the vegan cheese just a little bit of zest. So you're actually, speaking of zest, going to zest one lemon into your vegan cheese mixture. So if you've never grated or zested a lemon before, it's super easy. Just get yourself one of these little zesting devices and you're just going to uh, kind of like grate it all over the lemon to get the lemon peel into the Vitamix. Okay, so after you've zested your lemon, you are now going to juice both of your lemons. Okay, so after you've added the juice of your lemons, we're now going to add the spices. So you are going to need a quarter of a teaspoon of paprika. And then you are going to want half of a teaspoon of both your garlic powder and your sea salt. Okay, so we've added everything to the Vitamix, so you're gonna wanna get yourself a tamper, put the lid on your Vitamix, and then you're gonna to wanna to get yourself a cup of water. Now, we might not need this entire cup, so I'm just gonna start the Vitamix and I'm going to add it gradually. Okay, I think that's good. Let's give it a try. At this point, you can taste it and uh, see if you wanna add anything to your vegan cheese. That is really, really good. So at this point, a lot of people will put their nut cheese into a cheesecloth, and what that does is just helps to take out some of the moisture from the vegan cheese to make it more of a firm cheese-like texture. I personally, I'm like, I don't care. I just am down to eat it as is. So. If you like, do the cheesecloth thing, but for me, I just take it right out of the Vitamix, 
put it into a glass container and it's good to go. So one thing that you guys may have noticed with this recipe is that I did not put any oil in this nut cheese. A lot of vegan cheeses, actually pretty much every vegan cheese recipe I've seen has oil in it. And for me, I just don't feel like it's necessary. Um, I think that fats are great for us, but I would rather get my fats from whole foods like avocados or nut butters or the cashews that are already in this vegan cheese. And oil is just kind of an empty source of calories. So I always try and omit it from my recipes as much as possible. Presto, vegan cheese, yeah. Let's be honest, you guys. Vegan cheese is not gonna taste like real cheese. Nothing tastes like real cheese, except for real cheese. However, if you cannot eat dairy or you don't wanna eat dairy for whatever reason, health or ethical reasons, in my opinion, this is as good as it's going to get. I eat this vegan cheese all the time in salads. It's also fantastic in place of cheese. Anywhere you would normally eat cheese, you could put this on it instead. So in burgers or sandwiches or with crackers. I really hope you guys like this recipe. Love to hear if you give the vegan cheese a try. Um, comment below, let me know what you think. Give the video a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button down below if you guys wanna see any future videos. Thanks for watching, see you guys next time.